All right, so we're gonna take a look at the heat rise calculation for airflow. So this is the calculation right up here. CFM cubic feet per minute equals sensible heat capacity divided by delta T times 1.08. Now the 1.08 is uh, brought to us through a, a separate formula, which is the air density at sea level, which is 0.075 pounds per cubic foot times 60 minutes an hour times the specific heat of dry air at sea level, which is 0.24 BTUs per pound per degree Fahrenheit. So it takes 0.24 BTUs to heat one pound of air at sea level, a one degree Fahrenheit. So that's how we get 1.08. So if you calculate our sensible heat capacity, it's watts times 3.413 BTUs an hour. There are 3.413 BTUs in one watt. We're gonna calculate our watts. Now we're gonna be using electric heat in this particular video. We're on a resistive load. To calculate our watts, it is volts times amps times power factor. And because we're in a resistive load, it's not an inductive load, so we have no reactive power here, our power factor equates to one, a unity power factor. So we could eliminate it, but in order for us to remain you know, precise, in order to calculate watts, that is the formula, volts times amps times power factor. So we're gonna take our delta T, which we're gonna get from our the difference between our return and our, our supply and then our volts and amps and watts and we're gonna we're gonna go on a uh, Goodman air handler we're gonna throw in the heat strips and we're gonna to do our calculation all right so here's our unit we've got our supply probe and our return probe. It's been running for about five, 10 minutes now. Uh, we're gonna give it a couple more minutes and then we will make sure that the uh, the delta T is steady. And pay attention to where we've got our probe set up. Obviously this is a, this is a trainer, but we don't wanna put it right off of the, uh, especially in the elbow, like you would never cut a supply run right there in, in a transition like that. Regardless, the, the point is you want to be measuring the supply air out of sight, out of the line of sight of the coil and the blower or wherever the, the source of heat transfer is, which is right off the blower. We want it you know, ideally about five feet away. This turn probably gives us an equivalent leak of that. We basically, we want to make sure that our supply air temperature is as accurate as possible. Okay, so it's been running for about 10 minutes now and we have a pretty steady Delta T. Let's take a look at what we got. So 77 degree dry bulb return and a, about a 105 supply it gives us a delta t of about 28 so we're going to record those measurements and we're going to go ahead and take our volts and amps to get our watts all right, I'm good, good. All right and we're going to be checking the voltage on the load side of the contactor so the, at the top so off the load side of the contactor we have about 243 243 volts and then checking the amperage on the heat strips themselves about 19.5 yeah sweet so 19.5 and 243 all right so we've just inputted all of the data that we were able to collect and so now we're going to do the calculations and figure out you know plug it into our grand calculation our airflow calculation and then solve for airflow so our watts was 243 times 19.5 that came out to 47.39 and obviously that's a, a rounding 47 39. And then we multiply this by the BTU, how many BTUs are in each watt. Multiply 47.39 by 3.413. So that's our sensible capacity. We're going to plug that into the rest of our calculation. Now in our delta T, obviously 70, 77 return air, 105 uh, degree supply air. And so the delta T was 28. All right, so 16,174 divided by 1.08 times 28. What was that? 30.24. Got it. So we plug this in, we get a total of 535 CFM. And so now what we're gonna do is we are going to go back over across and do a, a, a traverse over the return grill with a rotating vein anem anemometer and compare the results. All right, so uh, in order to use a rotating vein anemometer, we've got the Testo 410i on the Bluetooth uh, small vein an anemometer. Obviously the larger the, uh, the vein, the more accurate because the more area, surface area, it's able to measure at one time. For the sake of this exercise, I wanna kinda demonstrate how you would use this particular method. It's a solve for CFM with this particular uh, type of measurement. It's not, you know, airflow times, or equals sensible, you know, capacity times 1.8 times delta T, or divided by 1.8 times delta T. This one is velocity times surface area. So we wanna measure the free area 
the available area, uh, which is from great to great on the grill. 15 and a half by 20. That is the surface area that air is going to pass through on this grill. I've already put it into the app, the Testo app. And so all we have to do at this point is hit the, hit the record button and do a, a traverse across this grill. And it's gonna average the, uh, the average velocity and then it's gonna take into account the surface area that we've got. Now the free, the free area that's here, because it's the return, there is no AK factor that we have to worry about with this grill because we're measuring the air coming in. If this was a supply duct or a supply register, we would need to make sure that we look up the manufacturer's AK factor that they've printed for that grill because we are t we're measuring air coming out after the grill. Not the case for a return. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit record and we wanna make sure that we're very careful. We maintain a constant pitch or angle, and then we're, we're keeping, a, keeping a steady pace traversing this, this grill. We average it the, uh, the total you know, velocity um, and then reference that took the average feet per minute, plug that into our velocity times area, and we got an average cubic feet per minute of 553 for airflow. And it's pretty close. Um, in our other calculation, we got a 535. 553, 535, fairly close. That's another way you can measure airflow. Indirectly, of course, because we're not actually measuring actual volume. It's this an indirect method of, of airflow measurement. <music> 